Hello everybody. In this video, I'll be showing you how to quickly convert a photo into something that's engravable in your laser cutter. Um, this requires no download of any software such as Adobe Illustrator or CorelDRAW. This will all be done online and it takes less than five minutes to do. We'll be using a uh, website called Image R, which was developed by Lucky Crew and his team. And if you would like to support them, please consider donating. Um, I'll I'll include the link down below. So let's get started. First off, we're gonna go to imagr.com. Okay. So imag-r.com. First step is to click this red button here. It's to upload your image. When you choose an image, make sure to choose the highest resolution possible. You can see the size. If the size is too small, then you know it's low resolution. Facebook images don't really work too well since it's compressed. So if you're um, going to engrave somebody's photo, uh, if possible, ask that they send it through email so it won't be compressed. Okay, or through USB. I'm gonna be doing this photo here of my twin boys. So you open it up into image R. You'll also notice there's a lot of ads here, but don't worry about it. Um, the ads are here because they need to make money and um, that's the only way they can make money is through having advertisements in their website okay so this is the photo the next step is that yellow icon and you can crop your image as you like we'll crop it like this You can also move around your uh, square and you can round the edges if you like. For this example, we'll just use um, square edges, press crop and it'll crop it for you. And please note that when you load your um, photo into image R it will automatically create it into this black and white image here okay so the next step is to resize your image this green button here um, you can either work in pixels inch or millimeters we'll be working in inch and on here you will have to input what the final size of your um, engraving should be for me, I'm going to do 5 inches and that will automatically adjust the height based on the width and vice versa. For the DPI, I usually set it to 300. The higher your DPI, the slower, the longer your engraving will take. So just take note of that. But you will have more resolution. Okay, so 300 DPI and press OK. Once you do that, it'll show a preview on the right side, and this is your original image on the left. The next thing you have to do is choose your material on what material you'll be engraving on. On image R, there's three choices for the method of dithering. The old method, the Norton method, and the new method. The old method works okay, but not as well as the Norton or the new method. So I usually stick with the Norton method, uh, but you have to experiment yourself which one will work better for you. Um, we're going to be engraving on acrylic, so you choose Norton acrylic, but if you're engraving on wood, for example, you choose Norton wood and so on and so forth. And leather, black slate, glass, what else do they have here? Cork. Yep. And press OK. Okay. 
Okay, so on the left side again, this is the original image. On the right side, this is your edited image. There is advanced settings here where you can adjust different uh, things like brightness and contrast and sharpness and all that. But I find that Image R actually does a really good job in <clears throat> um, finding the right uh, mix of everything for you. So you don't really need to touch that too often or I don't even touch it at all. So this is going to be acrylic right here. As you can see, it flips it flips the image for you. It, it mirrors it for you and it also um, creates it negative for you as well automatically. And the next thing you need to do is just click save. If you're using Glowforge, you can download as PNG or JPEG or SVG. Uh, if you're using anything other than a Glowforge, or if you're using uh, Lightburn, you can download as BMP. I'm going to be using Lightburn, so I'm going to download as BMP. Sometimes an ad will appear before you can download, but this time it didn't appear. So when if an ad appears, just uh, uh, exit the ad and it'll download your image for you. Okay, so we're gonna save it in this folder. Just choose the folder that you want to save it in. All right, and we'll open up that folder, and it should be in there. This is it. This is the one. Yep, that is the one. There you go. And for Lightburn users, you're gonna have to do one. St extra step here so if you load your image into Lightburn you're gonna see and then you edit your layer you're gonna see that pass-through will be turned off sometimes um, you have to turn pass-through on or else it will dither it twice because this image is already dithered image R already dithered it, dithered it for you but if you turn pass through off and choose any dithering methods here like Jarvis or Stucky or anything like that or it will double dither and you will get a really crappy image a really crappy engraving so make sure to turn pass through on and press ok you're gonna have to experiment with the speeds and power yourself uh, based on your material and your thickness of material and how you want it to look and that's it if you have any questions just send me a dm or email me at laser illusions tech at gmail.com also please follow my facebook laser illusions technology and instagram at laser illusions tech thank you